All right, in the last video, we talked about the overview of the device, how to change the settings back to factory default, how to set up the date and time, and how to format the SD card. In this second Essentials training video, we'll be talking about how to change the record mode, how to change the record settings, and making your first recording. All right, so let's get started. Now that the device is on, we want to hit record mode. And in here, you'll be able to change from stereo to mono or dual, four channel, overdub. But for now, let's just keep it at stereo. As far as the source, we'll keep that also at internal mic stereo. That means it's gonna be recording from these two microphones up top. We'll press the home button to escape out of there. All right, the next thing we we'll wanna change is the record settings, so let's press menu. We'll scroll up to record setting, press enter. In format, we could change this, uh, and I like to change it to Wave 24-bit. Uh, this is pretty much the same as the 16-bit. It just gives you a little bit extra information and is a nice uncompressed file. So let's do Wave 24-bit. Sample. Again, you could change this from 44.1 to 48 or even 96. I don't recommend 96. Uh, 48, some video cameras record at 48, and so if you're recording at you know, 48 on your video camera, uh, with the audio, you'll want to change that. But most video cameras actually record 44.1. So if you're if you're pairing this up with a video recording later, I recommend just using the 44.1, which is plenty enough to do vocal recordings. All right, the rest of the settings we can ignore. So we'll just hit home to exit out of there. All right, the next thing we want to do is plug in a set of headphones so that we can monitor what we're recording. Next, we'll press the record button one time, and you notice it starts flashing. That means it is monitoring, but not yet recording. Now what you are recording will determine how high this input level needs to be. In general, this number right here below effect should be bouncing between negative 12 dB and negative 6 dB. So I'm gonna increase this, and I'm gonna keep talking and, and see what the levels are, and if you're recording someone else, you'll want them to talk a little bit so that you can adjust levels accordingly. Increase this a little bit more. And, uh, and right there seems to be a pretty good amount. I'm, I'm bouncing in between negative 12 and, and negative nine, which is, is pretty good. So now to start recording, I'll press the record button one more time. And you'll notice it is a solid red. It's no longer flashing. So that's one indicator to know that you're recording. The other indicator is that the time code will start counting up. Make sure that your time code is counting up and you will always make sure that you're recording. There's been plenty of times where I've accidentally pressed the record button for once and listened to it and it sounds like the, the audio is coming through the headphones and like everything's good, but turns out I wasn't recording the entire time. So make sure that you are recording. Make sure that number is counting up. Once you're done recording, you can press the stop button. There you go. You just made your first recording on the Tascam DR40. In the next video, we're going to be discussing how to set this device up with an external microphone.